Water, our most precious resource. It is life-giving, life-sustaining. All living things must have it to survive. What if that water becomes contaminated with muddy runoff or some form of man-made chemical substances? What happens then? The fish, mussels, frogs, turtles, and all the other smaller creatures that live in the waters disappear. The creatures that live near the water become sick from drinking the water, and many die. The land animals and birds that drink that water become sick and die, because now none can survive without fresh, clean, uncontaminated water to drink. This is the Mountain Valley Pipeline, a 42-inch natural gas pipeline project traveling 303 miles from Mobley, West Virginia through West Virginia and Virginia. Lying in its path are many wetlands, creeks, streams, and rivers. It will permanently affect 1,198 linear feet of streams and half an acre of wetlands and temporarily affect 38,312 linear feet and 13.92 acres of wetland. Considering this, let's take a look at our waterways in southern West Virginia area and see if our waters could be in danger of being contaminated if the Mountain Valley 42-inch natural gas pipeline is allowed to cross our streams, creeks, and rivers. This is Hands Creek in Monroe County, West Virginia, one of the many beautiful creeks that will be impacted by the Mountain Valley Pipeline. The pipeline will come down off the ridge and cross Hands Creek at this point. If there are any impacts, such as leaks of oil or fuel spills from machinery or sediment from disturbing of the bottom of the creek, all this will be carried downstream. Further down Hands Creek, Ann's Branch flows into the creek. Ann's Branch is also being crossed by the pipeline. As you can see here, has carried sediment from construction of the pipeline into Hands Creek, and in the future could carry any impacts from the pipeline into Hands Creek. Hands Creek flows into Indian Creek at this point. Let's take a look at Indian Creek further back up from where Hands Creek enters. This is Indian Creek, and at this point, Mountain Valley Pipeline will cross Route 122 and across Indian Creek. That thing in the water. This is Indian Creek. It's one of the last places you can come in the whole United States of America and feel safe to play in this creek. And we have the best water in the world in Monroe County. We'll now hear what has already happened as a result of the Mountain Valley Pipeline construction in this area. It's the sediment that was coming down from up top of the ridge. I was very surprised to see it. I came, drove in after the rain. It's been raining for about maybe two days. And this is the first time I've ever seen it so bad. The sediment came through and it was just gushing into my pond. So I went upstream and I asked anybody that was up there, which nobody was there. It was only a security guard and he told me just to call this number and I was just stunned. He said, I said, is anybody there controlling this overflow? And he says, nobody there, nobody's working. So I was wondering what the heck's going on. Well, it's turned coloration is, and it's the fish are being starved out of the oxygen. Plus, and it might be even get into my, um, my water system. I'm not sure it's going to happen. I was thinking if I turn my water on and start turning brown, then I'm in big trouble. I managed a bottled water company in the county for 24 years. So I've gotten pretty familiar with the challenges to protect water and keep it clean from logging operations or you know, different sedimentation problems. And this is a massive excavation project in the county with lots of karst topography. And you know, you've seen the sill fences that have been blown out and water getting into the creek. So. You know, they say that's not going to be a problem and they can take care of it, but these slopes are just too steep for the stuff that they're used to. Last Monday, the creek running down below my house. Uh, we do turbidity readings. We've been monitoring creeks here for over two and a half years for Trout Unlimited. And the turbidity reading coming down from below the pipeline was greater than 240 NTUs, which uh, is a measurement of turbidity. The, it, Turbidity breeding coming out of my creek and my holler from my springs and my pond was 19. So the other creek was just full of mud running down the hillside from their construction operation. Any impacts to Indian Creek at the crossing will be carried on down to where Hands Creek enters Indian Creek. And Hands Creek, if, if any, impacts would join with that of Indian Creek and all will travel on down to where Indian Creek joins New River at Shankland Spurry and flow into New River and on down to the Bluestone Recreational Area above the dam at Hinton. 
At Hinton in Summers County, the Greenbrier River joins New River. Greenbrier River is another waterway that is to be crossed by the Mountain Valley Pipeline at Penn Springs. I'm Autumn Crow. I'm the program director for West Virginia Rivers Coalition. I'm an environmental scientist and I'm also on the board of the Greenbrier River Watershed Association. I got interested in this work because I grew up swimming in the Greenbrier River and um, I developed a love for nature and I wanted to uh, choose a career in that I, I could protect it. And so um, also now I'm making sure that there's a a clean environment for uh, my future generation, um, little boy, and um, I'm concerned about the pipelines going through the Greenbrier River watershed because it's going to impact the water quality and um, I don't want there to be um, impacts to the fisheries or the environment uh, that I grew up cherishing and I want to make sure that that's there for future generations. Uh, the way that the pipeline construction is proposed, they would dig a huge trench through the bed of the Greenbrier River and lay the pipe in and that would uh, create a lot of sedimentation that would be harmful to fish and other aquatic life. Uh, in addition to the water quality that a lot of people depend on for drinking and um, also recreating. So it's a, a grave concern that I have and I'm um, doing everything I can to make sure that the river is protected. Any impacts that might occur at the Greenbrier River crossing would be carried down the river and join the new river and add to the any impacts that have been carried down New River from all impacted tributaries entering the New River. New River travels down through the New River Gorge, one of West Virginia's most popular tourist attractions, for its whitewater rafting and other recreational activities. If this area were impacted by washoff from any of the tributaries entering New River upstream, it could have adverse effects on tourism in West Virginia. The Gully River, another river being impacted by the Mountain Valley Pipeline. The Gully River, approximately 450 feet below, the waters of the Gully River flow on a long journey to the sea. At Gully Bridge, the river merges with the New to form the Kanawha River. The Kanawha will meet the Ohio, and the Ohio will join the Mississippi River. Eventually, the water below will enter the Gulf of Mexico, almost 1,840 feet river miles from this point. This aerial view of the Gauley River reveals the Mountain Valley Pipeline crossing where impacts could occur. If any impacts occur in these two rivers combined with all impacts from all other tributaries entering them, then all these impacts are carried into the Kanawha River. The Elk River is a tributary of the Kanawha River. Elk River runs 172 miles from Pocahontas County through central West Virginia and empties into the Kanawha River at Charleston, West Virginia. Elk River is another river being crossed by the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Any impacts from this crossing will end up washing into the Kanawha, joining any runoff impacts already in the river from any of the other tributaries upriver. Elk River has in the past been impacted by a chemical spill. In January 9, 2014, a chemical spill occurred on the Elk River. A foaming agent used as a washing component in the coal preparation process required West Virginia authorities to supply water to as many as 300,000 people in nine of the state's counties. The effect of the Elk River chemical spill to the critically endangered diamond darter fish known only to live in the Elk River is still unknown. This is what occurs when a foreign substance spills into a water source. If any foreign substance enters the water, such as the chemicals that happen to Elk River, this endangers or destroys the aquatic ecosystem. All the rivers and tributaries in the path of the pipeline are home to a large variety of aquatic creatures. The candy darter is another example of an endangered species that are located in some of the waterways that will be impacted by the Mountain Valley Pipeline. If there were to be any fuel spills, oil leaks from equipment, 
or any type chemical substance at any of the many M mountain valley pipeline water crossings in the tributaries entering the Kanoa River would be carried down the river to eventually enter the Ohio River at Point Pleasant, West Virginia, then on down the Ohio into the Mississippi and into the Gulf of Mexico. Let's just think about what effects these impacts could have if this were to happen at one or more of these water body crossings. As we have seen, this could wreak havoc to the aquatic ecosystems in these waters. How many drinking water supplies might this affect at the crossing points or even further downstream? How much impact would there be on the tourist industry? Think about it. Is it worth risking our water sources being contaminated so a big corporation can ship gas overseas for a huge profit? They gain while the citizens in the pipeline's past suffer the loss of clean water, drinking water, water sources for boating, canoeing, fishing, swimming, whitewater rafting, and all other water recreations. All living things must have clean water. Their survival depends on it. Water is precious. Water is life. Money is not.